I'm thinking DFW Airport and Love will be mm. full because people want to get out of here. They were probably escaping the heat. That's based good on your map. <laughs> yeah, on this right here. Uh, the heat advisory is out first one of the season. Now on the west side of that black line you've seen draw, your heat advisory starts tomorrow, your first one of the season. Uh, where is the place to be? This place right here along the pool side or in that water. Now temperatures will probably stay under 100 degrees, but those feel like temperatures hit 105 or above tomorrow after. Afternoon. Uh, that's one of the criteria, by the way, which will trigger a heat advisor by the National Weather Service. But the heat advisory continues till tomorrow night at least. It probably will be extended, but feel like temperatures are going to get as high as 109 this work week ahead. So remember those heat safety precautions. These highs are going to be near 100 degrees all the way to the end of the month. So if the air temperature hits 103 or greater for at least two days, the National Weather Service will put out a heat advisory for our area. It's not going to hit 103, I think, this week. But the heat index will hit 105 or above for more than two days in a row. That's why these heat advisories are expected most of the week. A couple of things you need to know about the, the heat index, which we talk about a lot, and what triggered this heat advisory, the first one of the season, is that it is based of someone in the shade, and that is a specific someone, by the way, 5'7", 147 pounds, the average size of an American, or both male and female, but they're also healthy, they're not pregnant, they're not old, they don't have any uh, medical concerns, so if you under any of those other categories, you could have uh, be more affected by these high heat index numbers than most. By the way, the latest research is showing that the very high heat index values like the 120s, which we're not forecasting this week, but they're likely very much underestimated. Anyway, it's 89 degrees right now. If you're out there trying to get your walk in, the feel like temperature is 96. There's a little bit of a breeze. You can see the high pressure dome. It's just sitting over Texas because all the thunderstorms are going around it and there's no rain under it for the next seven days. You do see a little bit of rain here. That's because that high pressure dome, uh, it might briefly on Tuesday and Wednesday give us some northwest flow aloft. And that's why there's these really tiny rain chances both tomorrow night, Wednesday and Thursday, 10%. But that would be some relief from what is not looking very much halves relief. The heat is on, the heat stays all the way across the weekend.